So here we have the frame started for the pop cans. We made the frame four feet by eight feet and we made these little recesses into the frame so that the plywood on one side, on the bottom side in this case, uh, will fall into here and it'll make a better seal. So there's the end view, little recesses. That's for the plexiglass on the bottom, this one here, because it's less. The only plexiglass is only going to be one eighth. And this is going to be uh, probably maybe a quarter inch or three eighths or five sixteenths plywood is going to go into this one here. So here what we're going to do now is we're going to put a bead of silicone around the area where the backing plywood is going to lay down. Just a small bead. Not, a, not So today what we've done here now is we put in an inch and a half of styrofoam, the silver backed styrofoam. One inch foam all the way around the outside perimeter and we'll glue that in, it's sitting there loose right now, we'll glue that in there a little bit tight so it doesn't flop around ever. Again same thing with this side here. The header is marked out to evenly space uh, for the cans to go up against and at the center of the header here and then each one of these is the center of the can so they'll be drilled out with, with a hole saw so we just quickly go around the can on the stone and uh, the bottom comes out very easily. And there it is, the bottom has come out. Save the bottom, again, do the top. You actually hear the difference when the can finally gets free of the top. A little lip. And that comes off. Simple as that. Now that will fit into the can in front of it. And with a little bit of uh, glue, we'll glue that together. I use a uh, stain, uh, an angle iron, some old angle iron I have laying around. I use that for a stand. So when I lay the eight can, two cans or four cans or eight cans in there, it keeps them fairly straight. So at each end, we're going to have a three inch hole here and then one at the far end over there uh, to go in or out, whichever. And again, the same thing here, a three inch hole over there and a three inch hole here. Now we're shooting the whole structure with high heat black enamel uh, flat black paint. We put it up at 23 degrees so we get a 21st of December solstice direct hit by the sun. We're at about 46 degrees latitude here, so it's figured out that 20, 23 degrees angle will give us 90 degrees to the sun. So we made some brackets, three brackets that are 23 inches or 23 degrees, and that sets the uh, pop can heater at the 23 degrees. A little shot here of the pipes 
the two on the bottom that's sending the air in goes together. They go together in there. And the two top ones, they, they're independent of each other and they go into the building. So the air is coming in the bottom and out the top into the building. Okay, so there's a shot of the solar panel. It's just a little one, about uh, 12 inches by 12 inches, maybe a little bit more than that. Putting out 20 volts. So here it is from the inside. You see the two four inch pipes coming inside. We got a fan over above pushing the air down. And we got a small fan, four inch fan, pushing the air that's going into the bottom of the solar heater, right there. That vent in the middle is nothing, that's just decoration. Don't no one off of a house. I'm sure Bob, you'll recognize that. Get a regulator, some little tiny one off of eBay. It's just uh, regulated it down to about, uh, these are five volt fans, so regulated it down to about eight volts. It's just a simple uh, potentiometer with an LED readout and a small heat sink on it. I think it was three or four dollars on eBay. I have to get all that wiring tied up nice, nice. Now to give you an idea as to what we're putting out, right now it's fairly warm in here. It's about, uh, I think the temperature is somewhere around a 60 mark. But here on uh, September 21st, 2016, at 3.30 in the afternoon, the outside temperature was 73. The top pipe, meaning the left-hand one with no fan going through it, the top pipe was producing 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Not bad, not too shabby. So it went up uh, from 73 to uh, 135. Um, I'm not good at math, so I won't figure that out. All you, all, all you people can do that. October 19th, uh, 1 p.m. outside temp was 61. Top pipe was 100, 150 degrees Fahrenheit. No fan pushing through it. Then I turned the fan on for approximately one hour at 2.20 p.m. The top pipe was 109 degrees Fahrenheit with, with the fan. So constantly on sunny days, we've been hitting over the 100 mark. And the outside temperature has been somewhere in between, uh, somewhere around that 60 to 50 to 60 mark, pretty well every day. So from 10 o'clock until about uh, three o'clock, we're getting some free heat. I hope this gives somebody else an idea as to how to do it. It's been a lot of fun and uh, this will be uh, a project some other friends of mine are going to do, hopefully in the very near future. Thanks for watching.